Hello everyone, welcome to PDO Work Permit System Part 2 Overview. In this video, we are going to cover the following topics. PTW Rolls Requiring Licensing Licensing Assessment and Approval Validity of Licenses Where to get PTW Certificates or Licenses Retraining and Relicensing PTW Rolls Requiring Licensing Responsible Supervisor Oversees the entire work and ensures compliance with safety standards. May act as an area authority, permit applicant or permit holder in certain conditions. Must complete both the gas tester scores and the permit signatory scores. After passing, they are licensed to oversee, manage and approve permits. Area Authority the individual responsible for controlling the work in a specific area can act as a permit applicant or permit holder but cannot serve as a responsible supervisor. Must complete the permit signatory course and be licensed to control the work within their designated area. Permit applicant This role is typically assigned to the person requesting a permit for the job. The permit applicant can also act as a permit holder. Licensing is optional but may be obtained after completing the permit holder scores. Permit holder The person physically conducting the work and ensuring that all necessary safety measures are in place. Required to obtain licensing after completing the permit holder scores, ensuring they can safely conduct work under the permit. Licensing Assessment and Approval and Validity of Licenses After completing the required training courses, personnel must pass an assessment. This is conducted by a licensing panel, usually chaired by a production coordinator or equivalent. The licensing panel evaluates the candidate's knowledge of the PTW system, specific hazards in their area, and safety procedures. Once approved, the individual is granted a PTW license. The PTW license is typically valid for three years from the date of issuance. After three years, individuals must undergo refresher training and be relicensed to ensure they stay updated on safety practices and the PTW system. Where to get PTW certificates or licenses? Training providers, the required courses, Gas tester scores, permit signatory scores, permit holder scores are provided by approved training providers. These can be internal training departments or external organizations authorized by the company. Licensing panels, after completing the training, personnel must pass the licensing panel assessment, which is conducted internally by a panel chaired by the production coordinator or a designated equivalent. HSE Training Passport, successful completion of the training and licensing is recorded in the company's HSE Training Passport system, which keeps an official record of all certifications. Electronic PTW Licensing System, the PTW license is issued through the company's electronic PTW system, where the individual's license details are stored. After approval by the licensing panel, the PTW license card is printed and issued to the individual, indicating their role, example, responsible supervisor, permit holder. Retraining and relicensing. Refresher training is mandatory every three years as per PR 2234, Process Safety Competency. This training ensures personnel are up to date with the latest PTW standards and procedures. Relicensing is simpler than the initial licensing. It involves a brief discussion or assessment with the production coordinator or delegate to confirm continued competency. Personnel may also need relicensing if they transition to a new PTW role.
such as moving from a permit holder to an area authority, require additional training as determined by their line manager. This is all about today's topic. Thanks for watching Funny EHS Info. And don't forget to subscribe our channel to get immediate notification of our videos. Share our videos to your friends and colleagues to create safety awareness. If you have any questions and requirements please comment in comment box.